Hi boys and girls, today we're going to talk about a very famous Mexican artist. Her name is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is a very famous Mexican painter. She was very heavily influenced by all of Mexico's great art styles. One very famous art style in Mexico is Mexican folk art. But what is Mexican folk art? It's folk art where artwork is self-taught and Mexican folk art uses the brightest colors and boldest shapes. Which leads us into our next project, a Mexican folk art bird drawing. Our learning goal for this project is that we are about to produce a work of art through drawing that utilizes types of lines, shapes, textures, and patterns. Our learning targets for this project are I can use shapes in my art, I can use lines in my art, and I can use pattern in my art. A lot of the materials you'll need for this project are optional. You will need something to draw on, like a piece of paper or a brown paper bag. You could use a pencil to write with. You can use crayons if you'd like to use that for the color, markers, paint, or colored pencils. You get to choose what you want for the color, and if you don't have anything and you only have a pencil and a piece of paper, you can just use that. That's fine. In just a moment, we're going to do a how to draw a Mexican folk art bird step by step together. But if you would rather, you can find these directions under the files tab and they will be uploaded into there. So if you would rather look at them on the computer, if that makes it easier to follow along, or you can print it out and follow along using this paper. All right, let's get started. All right, welcome back boys and girls. So today we're going to do our drawing of our folk art bird. And remember, we're gonna keep in mind that we're going to be using shapes, lines, and patterns when we do our drawing. And first, I want you to make sure that your paper is vertical in front of you. Remember, that's long way up and down, and that is hamburger style. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure our paper is vertical in front of us. And if you're using something else, just make sure that it's a little longer going up and down. All right, and our first step, so step one of our bird, is we're going to first draw our first shape, which is the body of the bird, and it's gonna be similar to a triangle. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna draw the body, and we're going to draw it in a triangular shape. And I'm just using a Sharpie, so it's easier for you to see. I would prefer you use a pencil if you have one, just in case you make a mistake, if you need to go back and you need to erase your mistake. So that's step one, and we're gonna draw a big triangle in the middle of our page, as close to the middle as you can. And our step two is we're going to add our wings, and we're gonna be using a curved line to do so. So we wanna start right around here, and we're gonna make a curved line that goes out and then in, and on the other side, out and then in. So that's step two. Now we're gonna go on to step three, and step three is we're going to add the eyes to our bird. So the, we wanna put two circles inside our bird. So we're adding two more shapes. So we're adding a circle for the eye there, a circle for the eye there, and you can go ahead and you can add your little black specks to the center of your eye. You can make your bird looking any way you want. So if you want your bird to look up, you'd put your black dots up the top of the circle. If you want your bird to be looking down, then you would put black dots at the bottom of the circle. And if you want them to look right, you'd put them where I put them. If you want them left, you'd put them on the other side. So choose which way you want your bird to be looking. So that's step three. Step four is we are going to add the beak to our bird. And the beak is going to be an upside down triangle. So we're gonna add a little line there and it's gonna come to a point. And there we've now added our beak to our bird. So we're ready to move on to step five. Step five, we're gonna add a little feathers up to the top of the hair. And we're just gonna do that by adding just a couple little curved lines to make it look like he has a cute little hairdo. So now we're on to step six. Step six is we're gonna add some lines into the wings of our bird. And we're gonna add two straight lines to each side. So we're gonna add one here. There's one, we're gonna add two. And over here, we're gonna add one, and then we're gonna add two. So now we have two lines inside the wings of our bird. So now we're ready for step seven. Step seven, we're going to add some different types of lines to make the fluff inside our bird belly. And we are going to do that by using these, are called scalloped lines. And we're gonna add some scalloped lines into the bird's belly just to give it a little fluff to make it look like those are where the feathers might be for our bird. 
So now we're ready for step number eight. And step number eight, we're going to add the beginning of what's gonna be our nest that our bird is gonna sit on. So we're gonna start right about here and we're gonna come over right about here. So right now, I want you to make a little mark here and make a little mark here, and that's gonna help us to know where we need to wrap around and then come back. So we're gonna start at this one, and we're gonna take it, and we're gonna go around, 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 and then we're gonna come back up, and we're gonna go right to where we made that little mark. So we've got our nice little nest ready to go. And for our last step, we're gonna add some extra details. You can get creative with these details. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but I do, one thing I do want you to do, similar with me, is I want you to make the little lines right here that go around your nest, because we all want it to look like it is a nest. So we're just going to add a bunch of little straight lines to give it a little texture, because we are adding some texture and this is called visual texture because if we were to touch it with our finger, we wouldn't be able to feel the texture, but we can see that it is not very smooth. It's got some kind of feeling, visual feeling to it. So we wanna give it a little bit of visual texture and you're gonna go ahead and add the parts to your nest. Pieces that are sticking out maybe just a little. You can add a little extra inside if you want. And then for the next part, you're going to get creative and I want you to come up with some different other extra things you can add to your bird. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add little circles to the cheeks. I'm also going to add a line that starts here, stops at the bird and comes out on the other side to make it look like our bird is sitting on something and not like he's floating up in the air. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna stop right at the bird, follow with my finger to see where we think it might come out comes right around here and I'm gonna go the whole entire way over to the edge. Now it looks like my bird is sitting on a piece of paper, so we've planted him down. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a couple more little details because remember, we're making him look like he's a folk art bird and folk art uses those bright colors and extra designs and shapes. So you can go ahead and I want you to add some extra details. If you wanna put some stuff in the background, you can put some stuff in the background. If you wanna add clouds or you wanna add a sun, you can go ahead and add any other details. And because we're focusing on this being a drawing, you don't have to add color if you don't want to, but if you'd like to add color, you can use anything that you have to produce color to add to your folk art bird. All right, I hope you had fun.